Alright guys, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. I actually don't even remember what episode we're on because I just got back from San Diego. If you can't tell, my voice is a little bit strained, but it's slowly coming back. Uh, we're currently sitting at 1700 right now, 1693 at Grand Champion 2 Division 4. So in this episode, I think we should move into Grand Champion 3. We're at that final cusp of uh, reaching SSL. I think we were at Grand Champ 3 before the season reset, but of course we've been climbing back ever since the season started. Now for those of you guys who saw me in San Diego, it was really nice to meet you guys. It was really fun to do the meet and greet. And overall the weekend was really great. We got to see more of the city this time around. But as always, before we get into the episode, we got to do the meme of the day and we have Ethan with Arsenal as the Arsenal soccer team or football. I think I've actually done this one before in a previous season of Road to SSL, but it's so good I can't help but do it. So we're starting off with a classic photo of Arsenal here and then we've got Arsenal, uh, the team. I think this was last year's team. I'm not really sure, but either way, it doesn't really matter uh so let's let's bring Arsenal up here and grab his face all right looks pretty good now he's got to kind of work him in there <laughs> a little bit one by one let's kind of like place them all in the right spot and then i'll kind of clean each one up as i need to all right this one's got a lot of hair around uh the guy's head so unfortunately i can't cover it all i think what i can probably do is just kind of mix up the background a little bit or content aware it and it should be all right so i'm gonna leave that there for now okay all right um let's grab all this and then what i want to do is i want to just make this a little bit larger unfortunately i'm gonna lose a couple of the dudes but i think having a larger arsenal face would be funnier i think five of them is pretty good all right now it's a matter of like grab maybe i just grab like the shirts all right paste that let's bring this down not bad other than a few a few spots as you can see we gotta take uh this layer and kind of just erase things as we go here i am so off center let me fix that all right there we go all right, so fix a bit of his chin not showing up here. Now, there's a bit of an issue here, but I think that we're gonna have a problem because there's beard there. I mean, that doesn't look that bad if I just do that a little bit. That is looking pretty dang good. Let's let's grab the background image here and try to spot heal his head. Was that a face? Whoa, what is this face? It's got no eyes. Oh my God, there's so many of them. You know what? Sure. I mean, I've went way overboard on this. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This is a pretty silly one. This is Arsenal as Arsenal. Now, before we get into the games, I wanted to talk to you guys about War Thunder, today's sponsor. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. And if you haven't heard of it before, it's definitely worth trying out. You can play more than 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships in dynamic combined arms PvP battle. These intense battles can mold to all playstyles. If you're looking for a fast high action match or a more realistic tactical experience, you'll find it all here in War Thunder. Each and every vehicle in the game is incredibly detailed and modeled, all the way down to individual components. It also has a super in-depth customization system with hundreds of camouflages, historical markings, as well as 3D decorators like bushes and equipment, all to help you customize your own experience. Something I personally love about this game is the immersive vehicle damage models. They're one of the most dynamic and detailed in any game. Vehicles suffer actual damage to individual components, which makes the experience more engaging. All of this comes together to make for extremely immersive combat, which just adds to the fun. So be sure to check it out and play War Thunder now on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox using my link in the description. My link gets you a large free bonus pack for signing up. This includes multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, boosters and so much more huge thanks again to war thunder for sponsoring this video but now let's get into the games hope you guys enjoy now full disclaimer i am jumping into this very fresh i have not touched the game at all and i'm actually not even gonna touch the game until we get into the first game i'm gonna sit here and stare at the sir oh never mind we're, we're jumping in oh my god we ran into austin no way all right this is gonna be a tough game we got buttery twitch as well on the other team also not moving this game feels really weird to play my teammate just absolutely stole my boost <laughs> I'm gonna fake him here so he just throws the ball back to me. And now I got some space with this ball, so I can stay with it. Maybe pass it across to my teammate. Who's sitting on the wall? He ends up bailing. Oh, it feels so weird. It's all good though. We'll, we'll, we'll get back into it slowly. The teammate does jump, ends up popping in the midfield. A little bit panicky. Good challenge though. It's a good touch. That's gonna be good for us. As long as my teammate's ready for it. He was not ready for it though, unfortunately. That definitely could have been a good position. To be in ready ready in mid there but i can see right now so far our teammates like moving around the field really really fast and uh i'm gonna actually fake this and get the boost try to stay with this my teammates in <laughs> our back quarter ends up working though let's see what happens here also might panic i'll pop that around and then maybe my teammate can be in mid here for the shot great placement there we go so a few awkward positions for my teammate i'm not really like getting a good read on him so far uh, as well as my first game here so we're trying our best but really good uh placement off that shot i get a, a slow 50 here 
I'm gonna do is just gonna get around. Oh my bad. I left it for my teammate in a one v one. It's all good though, because Austin was very low boost there anyway. So it's not a big panic. And here, I don't think this guy has much boost. He pops at middle, but you see Austin's not quite there. My teammate didn't end up, go end up going for the ball, but that should be okay for us. Oh, I thought that was gonna go the guy was gonna go. Oh, this should be my teammate as long as he doesn't get the read. He does get the read though. A few positions where like I'm trying, I'm I, I should have probably not flicked that immediately, but my teammate's like pushing up really aggressively there off that ball. He definitely should not have went right up to the uh, to the guy making the challenge. He could have sat a little bit further back and wait for them to make a challenge back. I could have also maybe stayed with the ball, but since I was low boost, um, it felt a little bit a little bit spooky to you know try to go for a full control and go confidently to that. Oh boy, I pitched that across. If I pinch that off the wall there, it can't go in net. And this guy's, this guy's probably going to flip towards this or go on the ground. I don't know where my teammate is. I'm kind of scared. What's going on? I'm, I'm going to go. He's absolutely panicking. Yeah, okay, it's fine if Austin goes. My teammate should be there. Well played. So I'm low boost. going to go for 20 boost. Let Austin come in here. Why? Oh, I, I, I completely missed the ball. That is my bad. Bad bad corner read. I definitely could have just sat back and waited for the, the chip as well. Not a great start here. It's been really awkward. I, I don't feel very comfortable. Uh, in the rotation, but we can still make this work. Oh boy. Oh, I don't like these touches. I fake this, that way Austin throws it to me. That's a little bit scary, but it's all good though. I'm going to get back here. See what happens off this touch. He's not going to be able to pass it mid too fast. Hopefully my teammate can go for this. This one... Oh, what the... It's one of those games where like I need to be, be a little bit more attentive of like where my teammate's going to be and what the, what he's doing with the ball. I'm going to pro probably pop, pop this across to me, so I'm just going to stay with it. It's around. No problem. Should be my teammate here. A little awkward, but he's got uh, possession on the ball here. I'm going to wait in mid. Oh, man. I did not expect Austin to miss that. Should be a pinch. It's all good, though. Once again, there's nobody here. So I'm just going to stay close. Get the mid boost. I'm going to go for this early off the wall here. My teammate's probably... Oh, he's like up under the net. Okay, I, I'm honestly... Like, I, I need to just play uh, probably for myself here and not do passes. Because we, we have not found a good position with my teammate here uh, at all. But, you know, we can definitely make something work. Especially here. I'll let him go for this. Both of them are going to go, so that's all good. Well, that's, I think that might have been open. Both of them are confused. They're both jumping. So much should my teammate to uh, challenge here. Off the wall. I'm going to wait on the corner here and see what happens. To be a shot. Pretty hard to save, but hopefully my teammate can get there. Close. Off the wall here. Try to bump him if I can. Oh, they're panicking. Oh, no. Mid. Go. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Okay. Honestly, not a great first game back on, but we tr we tried our best. A little awkward. I think that rotation-wise did not match up with my teammate there. Uh, sorry what, once again about, about, about my voice, by the way, but, uh, you know, we'll get into the next game see how it goes. Oh, boy. All right. So, hopefully, game number two goes a little bit better. Like I said, that guy was actually 17-something, like 1760, but I didn't really feel like his, his rotation was very, very comfortable. And that maybe that's partially me because I'm, I haven't played, but it's also like I've... I've uh, been playing or watching pros play all weekend, so I might be just expecting a little bit too much from uh, 1700s. Let's go off the, the ceiling here. Stay close. Hit this early. That way it goes over him, and then that way I can follow it up. That extra touch off the uh, the ceiling or that, that hit into the ground is going to go underneath one player and then stay close to me on that flip so I can follow it up. Those are something like a mechanic that you can probably like practice. I got a lot of questions when I was in San Diego about like why I'm not like covering mechanics as much in the series, and I said I said to those people when they were asking me the question in San Diego when I met them um, that like uh, mechanics, um, oh that's a really bad touch. Mechanics aren't really like something you can really like fully teach if they're like maybe like move sets for example, but um, mechanics are something that you just get used to as you play the game more. I'm gonna stay close here and get a 50 if I can. I think that this guy doesn't go. It's all good because he's going to bounce off the wall. I can't go for that back corner boost if I want to be back in time. But I think he just... Yep. He 50 into the net. Let's go. So Bubble's got a really good challenge there. 
If I go for that back corner after that touch when it booms off the wall like that, it's so such a fast uh, turnaround for them that they can make a play before I can support my teammate. And he def and my teammate even challenged early. And that, that if that didn't go well, it would have been even worse for our, our team. It's just smart of me to wait uh, back instead. Let's see if my team wants to turn on this once. There we go. Wait in mid. Bad touch from them. Should be a mid pass or something. See, that angle would have been caught uh, by... Or would not have been caught from the opponents if... Um, he went for the the pass instead of the shot towards target. Gonna boom it. Oh, I'm missing that. It's gonna take me some time to get back to those reads. That's pretty tough. But I still have a lot of boost. I don't need to go for that corner. He's gonna steal it. He's going for me, which is totally fine because there's both players challenging me. Oh, I did not expect that. <laughs> that was wild. Now this back corner boost is a little scary because they're going to go for a, an air dribble play, but should be my teammate to go for this. I'm going to go early to make him have to make a challenge, but my teammate ended up going as well. And uh, unfortunately, the ball went back off the backboard. I probably could have waited as well, um, but I didn't really trust Bubbles to go up because he was kind of sitting off the back uh, the back wall there. He wasn't going up the backboard to challenge. He was like on the floor. I'll pop this to the left side, so I have lots of space. He might go for this immediately, which is totally fine. My teammate should be back. He ends up going for a touch, which he could have collected in mid. So now I might have a chance in mid here, but they end up missing. I should just go for the boost instead. That way it's um, impossible for them to deal with. I should pop this middle, should be my teammate to finish it. And there we go. So yeah, Kara tries to chase it down. And that's very common at this rank that people are just like constantly chasing the ball down and trying to like stay close to it. But he ends up cutting off his teammate uh, where he was already in a good position. He's hanging on his right, on my, or on his right. So I should be going for this here. It's fine. I get a block. Hopefully, teammate, teammate can be there. Now, I'm not going to go for a pass passing lane here because um, I'm very low boost. I am going to try and stay close to this and just make a, a bit of a nuisance in the corner there and see what happens with my teammate challenging here. Just pop over the one. I'm just going to stay close to this while I flip into it. I'm going to fake this. There's no need for me to go for that once he's like already challenging. I could have maybe touched that back. My team is in a good position, though. Good challenge. He's got it. Awkward read from them. Let's get behind my teammate once again. It's a good challenge. Once again, I'm going to go for this corner boost. That way, Carol can't get it while he's chasing this ball. It's totally fine. Should also be fine. Both players just committed. Pops it forward. Carol's going to have to touch this awkwardly into the corner. Ends up getting it. I'm getting chased from behind, so I'm be a little bit careful with that. Oof. Should probably not have went for the shot there because it's a good chance that my, uh, my teammate's not in a good position to follow that pass. If it go, goes off of their touch, but um, I probably shouldn't go for this either, but I went for it and they didn't expect it. I just go for that little fake pump there. In that situation, it's definitely not open if the player uh, goes towards the net. Because um, if I chip the shot right here and he's facing the net, he'll be able to save it. But because I like do that little fake uh, into the shot, which draws him in a little more, then I go for the shot and we end up getting it around him. So we ended up just getting our points back on this game much, much better. Still not like, obviously, I need to warm up. I'm like de-rusting. I haven't played for a week, but it's it's looking okay. I mean, rotations have been pretty decent on my side. Mechanics are abysmal, as always, when I don't play the game for a little bit. But uh, that uh, Bubbles played really well that game. It was a really enjoyable rotation. Man, uh, my throat is is struggling here, but we're, we're trying our best. We got Bubbles again, so I'm really happy with that. We got Magic and Major. The reason why I like Bubbles and the way that he's playing is he's not doing anything like overly risky, and it's twos. Um... I'm going to go for this immediately, actually, because I'm low boost. And since he's challenging there, it's going to be hard uh, to do anything if I sit on the backboard and he's making a setup. This ball, I thought this boost would be here, but it's not, unfortunately. But they got a 1v1 or 1v2. That's a really good play. A really good bump on the on the attack there. I'm not really sure what happened with Bubbles going in for this. He ended up on their back, back wall rotating back. And I think in twos there, I definitely think that he could have probably tried to disrupt the player coming down the field instead of just rotating back post. Uh, 2v2 is kind of a, like a weird, uh, you know, unknown because of the fact that, uh, like, the rotations aren't are exactly, like, exactly threes rotations where um, you want to rotate wide every time. Get a nice little flake. The guy turned. It was very telegraphed. Um, in that situation, the player who's, like, challenging there probably could have done a pump fake to make me flick it and then go back. But he just fully threw all of his cards at the table. And I just get a read. I don't, remember, don't, I don't remember what I was talking about before. I'm honestly like pretty fried. I just got home from a flight. So I uh, try my best. Ground one. But he's probably going to get in the way of this. I'm going to get a 50 as well. But nothing crazy. I don't think Bubbles can score it in time. 
Yeah, they get a save. It was a good effort, but my team is going to be in net now, so I'll be a little careful. I'm trying to bump him. I, I ended up messing up there. I probably could have just went back and waited for the air dribble. It looked like he messed up his air dribble and got a little pop there at the last second. No problem, though. All right, should I get the boost? I'll pop this left side. It should have been my teammate there because the guy in mid was just waiting there, and there's no way they can... Uh, oh, wait, this is open. I, I have no idea why that guy was not back. I mean, the that whole the whole play from the kickoff was kind of strange because I knew that there was space on the left side when my teammate got the left boost, and the other guy was lingering underneath the ball. But if I just make a pop there, he can't do anything because he's low boost in the mid. Um, my teammate has to go for this, and I'm going to try and support him here. Hopefully, we can get a boost. I know he needs boost as well, so I'm just going to play this close. There we go. And my teammate's probably still pretty low, so I'm just going to grab a boost pad or two. Wait for him to get the back corner. He just got it. I saw him get it, so I'm just going to wait behind. So I see that play, the, the way that guy's making the touch. I don't think my teammate needs to go up for this because this guy's just going to pass it back to me anyway. Get around the one player here. Try to bump him if I can. Hey, pass back. Okay, my teammate didn't expect it, which is totally fine. They're spending the pop back, back corner there, so I'm just going to actually fake that and go for a chip because they're not quite ready for it. Let them barrel in, no problem. Let them barrel in, no problem. Let them barrel in, no problem. <laughs> Look at, look at the speed. They're so fast. So that, that this kind of thing like where they're playing like awkwardly fast. They're not really doing much with the ball. And uh, we get all openings like this because they're just trying to play super fast. And so we're just going to keep taking low 50s while they panic and throw themselves at the ball because they overcommitted. And then we just get the opening afterwards after they overcommit all their boost. And uh, put themselves in a position where it's not favorable. Like even here, I made a touch. He can't, he can't finish this. He's going to put like chip it towards the ball or towards the net. But he can't do anything about it. And this guy's low boost, so he's only, his only option is to ch challenge early. I didn't end up not getting a good flick there, but I already know what he's trying to do because he's low boost. He has to kind of barrel in. Ends up chipping it across, no problem. I'm going to hit this off the corner. I tried to hit that in such a way that I could follow the ball, uh, but it's all good. Okay, I bump this guy. Two bubbles touch here. I see the guy in the corner. I'm starting a high touch. Ends up panicking. Ooh, I stopped going. Okay, they messed up. They messed up. There we go. I knew he was going to chip it. It's very telegraph once again. Get behind here. It's not on target. Nice touch for my teammate. All right. It's off the corner. A bit awkward. Ends up missing. It's a really good fake, actually. They end up missing it, though. It should be open for my teammate. Not quite, but it's a good try. Ooh. There we go, boost. Okay, that's not great. Got mid, mid now. See what magic does. We're up a goal here, so it's nothing. We have to be too aggressive here or anything. I'm just going to pop this off the corner. And then I'm just going to get it over the one player if he goes. It's too close to the wall, so my teammate shouldn't go. It was a decent stall, but it's still going to be in their hands. There we go. Oh, I missed the touch. Oh, no. Oh, no. My timing is just so off. That was really rough. Definitely should not be making a mistake like that. That's definitely a big, big, huge booming clear. I don't know what it is, but it's probably the 110 FOV. But, like, the, uh, the camera just feels, like, super zoomy to me when I come back off the game. Good touch. I'm just going to touch this to the wall here. I'm low boost, but my teammate should be able to maybe come in. Pop it up. He got both boosts. So I'm going to be low boost for a little bit on my own here. Ow. I don't think this guy's going to finish it, so he's going to probably hit it to his teammate. Probably going to get demoed here. Okay, the guy turns on it early. They're being very aggressive once again, so we should be able to take advantage of this. Especially with that touch, that's really bad from them. So I'm going to go for an air drill bump here. If I can remember how to mechanic. Yeah, I just made made sure to make uh, make it so that he couldn't challenge until the ball was already going on target. And even if he makes a touch there, I just got to go for the bump on him. The game feels so rubbery to me, but we're, we're making it work, like I said. I'm going to pop this on the ceiling here. It's going to be awkward for them, so they can't really get a good solid clear. And because the ball's stalling this, I can get the corner boost without being too worried about it. He might jump. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's fine. Really good positioning from Bubbles to just stay with that ball instead of going all the way back. Fully fully uh, backing off of... Uh, what's it called? Off of the, the play every single time is not always going to be good. This could be really dangerous if I don't get a touch there. <laughs> Want that to go down. It's not down yet, though. We got the mid. Oh, oh. Okay, they end up they end up just uh, doing an all-in play. 
bit of a weird game. I mean, I definitely didn't play the greatest there. A bit big whiff off the backboard. Just like not getting used to the size of the pitch. It's going to take me a, probably a couple days. I'll definitely do a big grind, probably a big stream. Uh, actually, on the day this video comes out because I'm, I'm putting this out tomorrow. So this is my first day back grinding on stream. If you want to check it out, uh, my link's in the description. I'll probably do one more actually before we get off because obviously we lost one and gained one. So we've only gained nine points around there. We're at 1,701. Let's get into it. All right, last game. We got Buttery Twitch on my team this time. We got Astro and Patrick. It's be a hard game here. I'm gonna pop it up. He steals the boost here. See if he just goes for the boost. He's gonna go for the boost deal. And pop it up over the one. I end up going for a pinch play. Probably Patrick's on the side here. We should get this uh, this mid boost and sit behind my teammate now. Oh. No panic. Oh boy. It's all good. There's, there was no need to panic there because there's nobody near the wall. totally fine the team's behind me though there's no boost back there i see patrick's up already so we'll see what happens with this pinch it's gonna go down once again there's no real worry because there's no way astro can get there let's pop across there's a lot of booming balls back and forth my teammate here ends up booming back to astro it's totally fine it's off the wall above the ball the, the player off the ball there hopefully buttery can get back to this and pass it across he puts it to the right side he should be able to stay, maybe stay with this. Took a shot off the backboard. Patrick misses. We just boom that towards the net. Pretty close. Those shots are sometimes really hard to save, even if it's like directly on target. Okay, my teammate ends up going for the back corner. We should be able to stay with this, though. I could have maybe followed that up. My teammate's got it. Under control. Not a great first touch. Oh my god, this is terrible. Let's see what Asher does. Chips it forward. Oh, behind should be my teammate now lots of space ends up panic jumping though and it's gonna be in our net i think yeah there was so much time he keeps jumping really really early when there's space on the ball i'm putting it in a spot where it's behind them and it's to space so he doesn't need to jump and panic i'm i'm making sure to like place that really well to bounce back in the mid here should be buttery actually oh never mind so patrick actually chases it down which is totally fine now we got space over both and there we go. I, I think my teammate read that as well, but really good uh, air drill play set up. They both panic and uh, double commit in midfield. It ends up like flying backwards. I'm not sure how it like actually like hit the, the back end like that. It should be open for my teammate. Nice little foot reset. A little fancier than it needed to be, but I like it. I like it. Astro, I'm pretty sure was an ex pro or like bubble player. I'm not sure if he still plays. As you can see, he's or 1600 this might be in our net yeah it's my bad bad 50 50 there it's all good though oh my gosh my throat is dying <laughs> i need some water and some rest that's for sure i got 28 boost i could sit on the backboard for him a nice boom this mid boost should hopefully spawn yeah it does this guy's gonna have it so i'm just gonna wait off the wall buttery is there with the catch and a chip back to the back left corner there perfectly played it was looking a little uh, oh my god <laughs> it was looking a little scary it was looking a little scary with the way that he pre-flipped that but he ended up catching it really well back behind astro didn't expect that shot it's pretty good 50 in the mid there see what happens with this touch lots of space okay yeah my mechanics just uh ain't it right now i'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you i should be able to get this back corner boost Decent touch off the wall. I didn't want it to hit the ceiling because, as you can see, when it does that, it kind of, uh, you know, falls apart. Not great. Ends up chipping the ball a little bit behind him, so he has to do a weird catch play. Too many teammates to challenge first. I'm going all the way back, but. Decent 50. Should my teammate here? A little scary. It's also a little scary. Above an Astro, though, so he can't stay with the ball. Go for a late 50. If he gets the corner boost, it's all good because I'm still close. Being annoying. I don't want to be uh, putting myself in a compromised position with 12 boosts. So Butter's going to stay with this. Good touch. Should be maybe another touch. A shot to the far left corner. And there we go. Not too bad. We should have played the, the position there because I see that Buttery has a follow-up. The way that they flip out to here and start they're boosting um, gave a good position for me to follow it up. And Patrick just backed off. 
So I just get close to it and double pop. Honestly, not a bad set of games for coming back. I knew I was going to look, look like absolute doo-doo compared to my usual gameplay, but... Oh my gosh. Um, but... We're, make, we're making do. I just passed it right up to Patrick. Oh, my bad. I ended up missing. That's all good. It did not look like it was going to go off a crossbar there. Oh. There you go. Butter should have full boost now. Nice chip. Boop. It's going to be them. See what they do with this. It's going to roll off the wall a little bit too. So they're going to be ready for it. It's going to be in our net. Yeah, Butter has to jump up for that if he's going to go for that uh, that push. Or he has to just wait back. Because he got the mid boost or the corner boost. It looks like he was pushing up early. I think he could have just waited back for them to early challenge. Because they're trying to they're trying to force goals. Oh. Letting Buttery go for that back corner boost. Patrick does not have a setup here. And it's totally okay if they make a touch like that. Because it's not going to do much. Same with that touch as well. Yeah, Astro does here. That forces Astro off the corner boost. And that lets me... Oh. Well, it did let me get boost here. They do pop it over the backboard. Patrick has to go for a tight angle shot here. And I'm going for it. Two Buttery back here. A little bit of panic touch. Actually going to go off the wall here. Good follow up. This should be space here. Hopefully uh, the boost spawns, which it does. Let Asher go for the touch. I'm going to fake this because Buttery's going for it. Nice 50. Maybe a flick towards the net. Ooh. A little weak, but it should be down either way. Hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely lackluster gameplay on my side, like I said. But hopefully I still explain my thoughts pretty well. Uh, obviously we won three out of the four games. So not a bad track record. Uh, so we're up a little, uh, like 18 points, uh, give or take, but still not Grand Champion 3, unfortunately. So we'll have to do that in the next episode. Sorry, it's been a bit of a delay on the episodes. I like to record them pretty uh, presently, I guess is the word that I'm looking for. or Because I left for San Diego, I didn't record any Road to SSL. Uh, the other videos are pre-recorded, so after this, you're going to hear me back to my normal voice for a little bit. Thanks, as always, for watching, and don't forget to use the link in the description to play War Thunder now on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. My link gets you a free large bonus pack for signing up. Once again, this includes multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, boosters, and so much more. Thanks again to War Thunder for sponsoring this video, and until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.